Okay, so this is the engine of my Belaris tractor. Here's the bonnet with the brand name written on it. Uh, the top of the inlet manifold here is uh, the thermostat, sorry, the old flame start that's coming out. I've already disconnected all the cables and pipes and unbolted it. And I'm going to put in its place this thermostat, which I've made a mounting plate with a thread in it. It in. So it's going to sit there like that, bolts in there, electrical connection there, and I'm going to run a pipe from this little fuel container here down onto there. This little fuel container is designed to have the diesel put in there, and it just has, I don't know, maybe a cup full of diesel that sits there you only need a dribble of the stuff to start the machine each time you use the uh, flame starter or thermo starter and that's about it all I have to do is bolt it in there and figure out how to connect up all the wiring um, of course I can't use the original Belaris wiring uh, all of the original relays are gone out of the tractor someone stripped them out and just rewired the starter with a standard relay over here so all the preheater controls are gone now I'm going to put my own preheater controls and relays and wiring in okay this here is the old flame starter the original Belaris tractor part uh, the, the heater elements inside that cover at the bottom there, this, this thing where I'm pointing with my finger uh, it, the fuel goes in there where I'm pointing with my thumb uh, I think that tab there is meant to be the one that heats the coil and that tab there is meant to be the one that opens the solenoid to let the diesel through uh, I'm having trouble with this one so I'm replacing it with the thermostat the thermostat is automatic as soon once it's heated up to a certain temperature a uh, valve automatically opens and lets the diesel drip through right here's a close-up view of the thermostat you can see I've got a brass connector can put on here so I can connect up the diesel line it's got a thread on there which turned out to be 7 8 inch UNF which was a bit of a pain to find something to fit it uh, the tab there that sticks out for the electrical connection, that one there uh, was made to have a push on connector, I've drilled it and tapped it to put a screw in it because push on connectors fall off vibrating tractors and at the business end you probably can't see very well in there there's a coil that heats up, I'll just shine a torch in there so you can see it the you can just see the coil in there it uh, is the bit that heats up and glows red hot and the little dimple in the middle of that coil is the uh, this temperature operated valve that opens and lets the diesel drip down onto the coil so that's pretty much a thermostat go to work uh, and that's sitting upside down at the moment it would normally be mounted up that way okay so this is the timer that I bought off eBay uh, it was a few dollars, I can't remember exactly but not enough to be worth worrying about the idea is that it has a relay here that will be used to drive the big relay to make the thermostat go that relay itself is not big enough to handle the current of the thermostat so you need something like a headlight relay in between uh, it's got two buttons on it, there and there the first button, this one here is uh, to start the timer and if you decide you don't want the timer to run for its full session that button there is to uh, stop and reset the timer so it's pretty simple you just push the button uh, like that and it starts the timer you just see the red light come on and you can stop it if you want uh, I've set it to 18 seconds which is about the ideal time for a thermostat to run uh, and the idea here is that if I use this timer with a button on the tractor just a momentary switch connected to that switch uh, it means that 
someone who pushes the button can't hold it on too long and burn out the uh, thermostat or start too big a fire in the thermostat. Like I say, about 18 to 20 seconds seems to be the ideal period of time. Okay, this is testing a thermostat that I've clamped temporarily to the saw stool here. The thermostat is going to replace a flame stud out of my Belarus tractor. I've connected it up, a whole rat's nest of wires here. There's a timer which I've already set to run for 18 seconds. And it picks this relay. That's a relay that came out of a Subaru headlight control. Uh, and it's connected up to this 12 volt battery down here. Uh, the timers, if you're interested, you can buy off eBay for about uh, 4 or $5 each. I've filled the tube here up with some diesel, so it's just a gravity feed into the thermostat. The thermostat will heat up and then start dripping diesel out and it'll burn, with a bit of luck. So, Okay, so we'll start the timer just by pushing that button, and we'll watch from around here. We should see the thermostat glow hot. Yeah, it's glowing now, you can just see the orange glow through the holes. It's dripping diesel and burning it. Yeah, so that's well and truly a light. The timer's just switched off. I just got to watch that it doesn't set fire to the plastic. There we go. So that's the thermostat working.